Good afternoon, Pokesports. It's your host, Mike, and I play with two Pokemon on the field. My friends, today it is the start of a new season. And so I figured, you know what, what better way to climb back up the ladder than by using a team that's proven itself recently. This team right over here uh, ended up top four in Knoxville Regionals. This is a team, of course, by uh, Nick Navarre, I want to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nick Navarre nails OU on Twitter. Uh, and it's a really good team. It uses, you know, the sun. It uses Protosynthesis with a choice scarfed Great Tusk uh, and a choice Specs uh, Fluttermane. So you know it's going to have the power. Uh, it's got, of course, the uh, what's his face? King Gambit and the Dragonite and the sun package right there. So we're going to take this onto the dance floor. We're going to see what we can do with it on this fine Thursday morning. Okay, let's go for it. Come on, join me. It's Friday. All right, let's go right off the bat. We've got more sun. There just wasn't enough sun in that last one, so they figured, you know what, let's give a little bit more sun. Uh, we've got the Great Tusk over there with the uh, Talon Flame and all that good stuff. Uh, we do have Rock Slide on this Great Tusk, so we might want to definitely bring that. Oh my gosh, Great Tusk is just going to destroy... I feel like if I bring Great Tusk and uh, and Torkoal, just right off the bat, I've got I've just got an insane, insane lead there. Especially if the Talonflame doesn't join us, then we've got just access to Protect Earthquake. That's nuts. And then what about turn two? Turn two, do I want to switch into a Dragonite so that I don't uh, hit that with an Earthquake? I think so. And then what's last? I don't think we want to go Fluttermane here. I think Fluttermane is a death sentence. There's nothing is good against the Fluttermane here. Uh, Lilligant could work, but again, a lot of fire on this team. I'm, I'm feeling the King. I'm really feeling the King Gambit. It's got Defiant and Assault Vest. Nothing's going to drop my uh, stats or anything like that. No Intimidate. Yeah, let's just let's just bring that. So it, it, I mean, really, this looks like a good lead right off the bat, just considering that everything is weak. <laughs> everything is weak to my Great Tusk, minus, say, the Fluttermane and their Great Tusk. But there's something I can do against pretty much everybody. So let's get this going. I can't hear anything. I don't have my headphones on. Jeez. Okay, so they led with their Great Tusk. Oh, there it is. Ah, the drought. It's the it's the dual lead. Now, mind you, uh, because I have well, wait a second. What's their protosynth is going to be? Yeah. Okay. So that one's going to be attack as well. Uh, because I have thing. Because I have. Come on, come on. Choice scarf. Uh, I know that I'm probably going to go first. I can assume that that Torkoal is going to want to protect. So I don't want to headlong rush into it. In fact, I think I might just want to headlong rush into... Oh, do I want to headlong rush into the opponent? I think I might. Oh, I think I might. Especially because next turn I can headlong rush as well. Uh, and if I'm doing that, then that means like, no, you know what, I'm going to protect. I'm going to protect just in case the enemy Great Tusk lives. Uh, then it might go for an earthquake and try to take out my Torkoal. So this is assuming that enemy Torkoal goes for a uh, protection here. Anyway, so Great Tusk is going to Terastalize. Torkoal is going to protect on my side. Torkoal going to protect on that side. It's not. OK. It's not a KO. My Great Tusk might be in trouble then, huh? Well, as long as I take out the N-O oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oh. Huh. Stealth Rock is interesting. Wait a second, my Dragonite's multi-scale. This isn't fair. Hold on, what? No. Don't, don't. How, how dare you? Huh. Okay, well, I'm going to attack with that, and then I guess I Earth Power the enemy Torkoal. That'll do decent damage. I'll do great damage. 
That'll do great tusk damage. Stealth Rock, though. Come on. That's going to make things very difficult for my Dragonite. It really is. Oh, they're going to swap. Mmm, okay. Yeah, good call, I guess. Now, if the Torkoal here terrestrializes fire... No, it's... <laughs> I see. I see your plan. I see. Trying to make it so I'm doing as little damage today as possible. Blah, 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 blah. I don't understand this Torkoal set. I mean, yeah, it makes sense. Oh man, there goes my Great Tusk. Am I okay? I don't know if I'm okay. That might be bad. We'll, we'll see. We will see. Uh, if I go for Dragonite here, I can break the, um, I can break Gale Wings, which doesn't really matter because all my Pokemon are super slow. So I can just protect. Eh, eh let's go for an extreme speed anyway. Just do some big damage. If I had gone for an eruption there, that would have been pretty sweet. I need to think about that more. How, like, if I just have the speed, or if I have the HP, just go for an eruption. You're in the sun. You're stab. Just do it. That would have really saved me against... Uh, I think that probably would have done quite a bit of damage to Torkoal as well, you know? Regardless, this should take out the Talonflame if I'm allowed to hit the, uh, if I'm allowed to hit the, the eruption here. <laughs> Hold on, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Solar Beam. Stealth Rock. Fissure. <laughs> what is this Torkoal set? This is amazing. I, I love it, I do. Well, regardless, both of those Pokemon are going down. I do have a plus two priority move in extreme speed, so I'm not particularly worried about the speed differential from Tailwind here. But regardless, this tiny little Great Tusk is going to come out. And the Golden Go. Okay. That, this should be good. This should be fine. Uh, just go for an extreme speed on... The Great Tusk and a Flamethrower on the Golden Go. And it's it's done. As long as Golden Go doesn't hit me with a, a power gem, then I'll be okay. So the Extreme Speed's gonna take that out because it's like 2 HP. And then Golden Go. Okay. <laughs> I manifested this. I did. Oh, come on. Well, we can at least attack it like that, right? That's too funny. Unless the Golden Go has a power gem, this will be okay, right? Oh, gosh. Anyway, Torkoal's going to go down. I was, I was terrified for a second there about that Dazzling Gleam, but we're, we're okay. We still had uh, King Gambit in the back as well, so we were always okay. I could have just sucker punched until the cows came home, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it's always funny when, you, when you're like, okay, well, as long as they don't hit my loss condition, then I'm good. And then they hit your loss condition. It's like, oh, well, I guess this is the world we live in. Anyway, folks, uh, that's game one. Let's go into game two. Let's climb the ladder a little bit more on the dance floor. Come on. All right, going up against Mousehold. Oh, the Mousehold Nile Ape combo. I haven't seen that in a while. That's kind of cool. Uh, I've got Fluttermane for that. So I could bring that in. What destroys the Fluttermane right here, though? Uh, not too much, actually. I guess if Palafin comes out, that could be a bit of an issue, but... I could always bring Fluttermane and Lilligant. The problem with Lil Lilligant, though, is that... Uh, you don't have the sun up. And without the sun, I'm not super fast. Hmm. 
I kind of want to bring it anyway, though. No, I'm not going to do that. I can bring Fluttermane and King Gambit. King Gambit does some work here. And it has problems against the uh, Annihilate, but that's okay. What's wrong with bringing Torkoal right off the bat? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with bringing Torkoal right at the onset there, huh? Okay. Uh, do I want to bring the Lilligant then, now that I have Torkoal up? I don't see why not. Lilligant in the back. And then just a couple seconds left to think about Great Tusk. There you go. Yeah, let's just bring it. Great Tusk it bodies quite a bit of this team, actually. You know, they send out the Iron Jugulus, and you've got Rock Slide for that. You send out Mouse Hold, you've got Headlong Rush or Earthquake. They send out Annihilate, you've got Headlong Rush or Earthquake. Well, there they go. Okay, so they're sending out those two right off the bat. And again, I have Moonblast for that. My Protosynthesis is going to trigger. A special attack was heightened, and I'm Choice Spec, so this is going to do... Just nasty damage. What if I Terra Fairy? <laughs> if I Terra Fairy, I feel like Dazzling Gleam is just going to Oko the both of them. You know? I'm not going to do that. Uh, Moon Blast on Torkoal, I think, is the right choice. Yeah, but what about Follow Me? There's really no point if they go for Follow Me. That's just going to be a dead Annihilate. I'm going to Erupt. I don't need to terrestrialize. Mmm, fire. No water. Okay, well, that's totally fine. I'm very interested in how much damage this is going to do. Decent. I kind of hope they target Fluttermane here. Because this means that Rage Fist is going to do a bajillion damage, but... Not the happiest that they targeted the Torkoal, but it's fine. I have Dazzling Gleam for next, uh, next turn. What's that? Oh, Leftovers. Yeah, okay. Well, now I can bring the Lilligant again. Lilligant? Yeah. I bring the Lilligant. I'm going to Dazzling Gleam. I'm going to Terry, Terry Fera. There it is. Terra Fairy Dazzling Gleam. I can't do that. I have to Moon Blast. Um, uh-oh. Lilligant's gonna attack first, that's Terra Ghost. Hmm, it's not gonna take it out, is it? Well, we're gonna do our best. I'm gonna Terra Ghost. Yeah, I am going to Terra Ghost because I'm worried about a Drain Punch ruining my Lilligant. Mm-hmm. If it goes for a, for a Rage Fist, then that's fine. It's going to do super effective damage, and it's going to bring me down to Sash. But I think the worst thing that can happen to me right now is the, uh, is the Annihilate sucking some HP back. Good. So the mouse hold goes down. It all kind of comes down to what this Annihilate goes for right now. Yeah, yeah. That's why we do what we do, my friends. That's why we do what we do. Good. Good. And now we're still in the sun. I can go for a sleep powder on this guy who is. Never mind. Ugh, rage powder. Ah, come on. Well, I guess we still have to. Wait, 
no, after you is not going to actually do anything here. Ah, I just have to take out the Amoongus. <laughs> this is unfortunate. So many redirection. So many redirection. Oh, boy. Just have to take out this Amoongus. Just do as much damage as you possibly can to it. That was a crit. Yeah, that was a crit. Sure was. Next hit on the Amoongus will take it out. Oh, never mind. That's that's true. Next double on the Amoongus is gonna take it out. Oh my gosh. Rage Fist on the Fluttermane is gonna take that out. It's truly annoying how fast my my uh my Lilligant is right now. Truly, truly annoying. Well, Great Tusk is going to come out. And I have to choose what I want to choice scarf myself into here. And I think the only option is to go for Earthquake. Yeah. Earthquake and Protect. It's unfortunate, but I think it's the only thing I can do. And it's possible that they know that, you know? It's possible that they're gonna be like, oh, well, if that's what it's gonna be, then I'm gonna protect the Amoongus, or I'm gonna go for a uh, Pollen Puff on Annihilate and just hope that it lives the Earthquake. Well, we'll see. We will see. Choice Scarf. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna try and put it to sleep. Oh, I hate it so much. I just need it to take out the Amoongus. Okay. It, well, sure didn't do that. It sure didn't do that. Hmm. They're in my head. The opponent's in my head right now. Got to go for an Earthquake. Going to go for a sleep powder. Um, yeah. Because maybe, maybe. <laughs> maybe they would draw the Amoongus and do something different here. Yep. The Intimidate on the Arcanine is so rough for me. And the miss from the sleep. Oh, it's Vital Spirit, of course. Of course it's Vital Spirit. They're not going to allow that to go to sleep. Of course not. Hit it with Drain Punch. What if I get a two-turn wake up? That'd be kind of neat. That would be kind of nifty, you know? Our sunlight's going to fade. My speed is going to go down. Protosynthesis is going to go down. My attack went down from the Arcanine, so... It's all very good stuff. It's all cool and good. We're going to go for an Earthquake here. Going to go for a Leaf Storm on the... Terra Water. Because I'll live at least one hit from the Arcanine, you know? It's fine. Mogus is going to come back out. Great Tusk is just going to wake up. I like that. Oh, it does no damage to anybody. Oh, that's neat. Does no damage to anybody. Oh, so sweet. What, minus four Leaf Storm isn't actually going to KO? That kind of makes sense now, doesn't it? Hmm. All right. Well, <laughs> win some, you lose some, I guess. Oh, my gosh. This Annihilate just wrecked my whole world. Well, I'm going to go ahead and run from this, and we're going to do another game. Because, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. I guess sometimes you just got, you got the sauce. When you get the sauce, then you got the sauce. What could I have gone for there? I guess Dragonite Extreme Speed would have helped. I guess the King Gambit Defiant Kotel Cleave would have helped. Uh, but that would have just gotten drain punched, right? Because all that redirection it was so painful. Uh, the Torkoal first turn 
Did I even bring Torkoal? Yes, I did. The Torkoal first turn. What did I do for that? I per no. It was Fluttermain and Fluttermain and Torkoal, right? Uh, Moonblast and Eruption. It should have been. Anyway, uh, the path to victory is there somewhere. I just needed to have found it. Let's go back in time real quick and let's do it better, right? And if that doesn't work, I'm gonna I'm gonna try some things out with the time machine. And failing that, we'll hop into game three. Make sense? Okay, let's go. Well, the time machine didn't work, so instead, uh, we're gonna go up against an iron bundle. Hey, uh, I think Fluttermane and Torkoal just. The whole thing that I've found here is just that, you know, that's a pretty good lead. It's a pretty good lead. It does a lot of damage. So does Great Tusk. Uh, Great Tusk, I don't like against the Iron Bundle here. I just don't. I just don't. I think that Fluttermane does really well against uh, Great Tusk, does really well against uh, Iron Valiant and uh, Big Hands. Yeah, so I think I'm going to do that. And then in the back, you got to bring the uh, Defiant Man against this. For no reason other than it just does a ton of damage. And then oh, I feel like I want to put some stuff to sleep here. I feel like I want to put some stuff to sleep. Does Great Dusk, uh, the extra speed on the damage seems pretty sweet here. I feel like I could bring Great Tusk and Dragonite in the back, actually. I kind of like it a lot. I kind of like it a lot. I'm going to do it. Great Tusk, Dragonite, let's go. There's just so much power. There's so much power on that. Then you just do the thing. You slap around the iron hands and it slaps you back and psh, knocks you into the next arc. <laughs> Knocks you back to Skypea. Why has nobody named their Iron Hands Kuma? Anyway. Um, Fluttermane Protosynthesis. <clears throat> We've got a fake out. We have got fake out. We've got what you're looking for. We got what you're looking for. Can go Dazzling Gleam here. I'm hesitant to Terrastalize. I'm very hesitant to terrestrialize with anything right now. But like Dazzling Gleam is just the right thing to do. Do I just want to take out? No, I had this happen earlier. Come on. Uh, so this does one, what's that? 135? I have 10 seconds left. Uh, Eruption does 150 plus stab plus sun. No! I should have gone for the thing. No! It's it's too. When do they have wide guard? Oh my gosh. Wow. The double spread move into the thing. The wide guard is going to protect that as well. I'm so saddened by this. Uh, not as bad as I thought it would be, actually. <laughs> because it chose to go for that. Oh, makes me so sad. I'm going to flip into Dragonite real quick, just in case it goes for another Earthquake. I'm going to go for an Earth Power on that. Not my best play. Not my best play. Did not consider the Iron Valiant Wide Guard. Or Sphere's going to take me out. Such is life. Iron Head on Dragonite's not going to do Bubkiss. I'm going to go for the Great Tusk here. Okay, I have I have plays, right? So I can Terrasalize flying and attack the Iron Valiant. I can go for a Headlong Rush on, yes, on Iron Hands. I still have 
Fluttermane in the back. Choice Specs Fluttermane with Special Attack Boost Protosynthesis. It's going to do a lot. It's going to do a lot. Yeah, so that's a good headlong rush. That'll take it right out. Bye-bye. I don't need my defense. I don't need my special defense. And that Dazzling Gloom is going to do a lot to Great Tusk because it's going to take it out, and that's okay. Because I have a feeling that I'm about to take that thing out with my Terra Blast. Anyway. Eat this. Meow. Okay. Uh, so now we have to bring back out our half HP Flutter main. Priority will make me very sad. Who's got priority? I might have to lock myself into Icy Wind. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, it was covered there. It's <laughs> fun. Okay, so locking myself into Icy Wind isn't the right isn't the right choice. In fact, they're probably just going to use Icy Wind and ruin my life. Yeah, that's exactly what they're going to do. Well, if I go for a Terra Blast and I go for a Moon Blast, I think I have to go for it on... Yeah, I have to go for it on this. Is that my win condition? No. I think I have to go for a Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, if this is an Icy Wind, I think I'm just done. So they're terrestrializing that into fire, which is fine for me. It's my flying Terra Blast is still going to do a lot. I uh, this could just be a freeze dry into Dragonite. Yeah, freeze dry into Dragonite's bad. Okay. Dazzling Gleam is going to take that out. And now I'm locked in Dazzling Gleam and it's just not going to it's not going to do all the damage. It doesn't matter because I'm pretty sure I go down to Rage Fist anyway. Yeah. Especially with a crit. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, interesting. Annihilate has been a little bit of a pain point for me this episode. I kind of want to do one more. I like that game, so like I'm not I'm not gonna end it there. Yeah, you know what? Let's do let's do one last game. We've learned a little bit through these through these games, I think. Um that <laughs> Wide Guard is a thing. Wide Guard is certainly a thing. Why did I even need to go for the for the uh spread moves? I don't think I did. Just go for the single target things and just let that be that. Okay, well, let's consider that. Let's go for one more game four. One more game. And let's pull out a win with this, because this team, I'm playing it wrong. I'm playing it wrong. That's me. This is on me. I have very clear moments where I've lost with this team. And I think I can do better. So let's do better. Let's go. Okay, so now we've got the rain package. Wow, we've got big focus on rain. So I think that means bring Torkoal in the back. Uh, but at the same time, we need something that will make... Uh, that will threaten them. Right? So if we bring out Great Tusk... If we bring out Great Tusk, we can hit the Amoongus and be in trouble. If we have Dragonite, then we're in trouble with Freeze Dry. But I can Terrafly. I'm assuming that there's going to be like Amoongus and 
uh, iron bundle. And terastalizing will save me. But I think I need to bring the king gambit, bring the Torkoal, and then something that'll outspeed. And that, I believe, is going to be Great Tusk. Bring the Great Tusk feels weird because I'm bringing against so many uh, Watermons, but I do think it's right. Especially when I have a Lilligant right there that can do so much grass type damage. I still think bringing the choice specs Protosynthesis Mon is going to be is going to be way more important. So look at that. We've got the Palafin, we've got a Moongus. So that's why we have the Dragonite. I'm going to Terra Flying, Terra Blast the Amoongus. Uh, and then what Pokemon do they have in the back? Do I even need to switch out my... I don't think I need to switch out my King Gambit here. I think just going for a Kotal Cleave. Going for Kotal Cleave on the Palafin does Kotal Cleave damage to whoever. Who we got? Yeah, so they brought that out so that the rain can come out. This is a very good opportunity for me to KO a Pelipper. Because if I can KO the Pelipper, then I can switch out into Torkoal. And then for the rest of the game, life is good. So they're not going to withdraw the Amoongus here. So this Terraflying is going to uh, Terraflying Terra Blast should go off. Yeah, there it goes. Times two Terra Blast, like gonna do damage, right? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I've been looking for. And here comes the Kotal Cleave on the Pelipper. That's not very much damage, actually. Surprisingly little damage. Here comes the enemy. Here comes the enemy, period. I can go for an extreme speed, I guess. I, I don't. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to sucker punch the Pelipper because that is uh, likely to go for a tailwind here. For no reason, though. I go for an extreme speed and a sucker punch on this thing. I think it goes down. Let's do that. Let's do that. Extreme speed on that. Oh, wow. It really doesn't take much damage, huh? Sucker punch doesn't take it out, unfortunately. Thank you, multi scale. So good that the tailwind went off. because it doesn't really matter, right? They've got a super fast Palafin in the back. Like, I'm not trying to, I guess I am kind of trying to, <laughs> to make them not outspeed. Uh, if I go for an extreme speed on this, it should go down. And then we go for a Kotal Cleave, Cleave on the Pelipper. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine that it goes for a protect there. I'm not trying to double into it anymore. It's going to hurricane me. Is it going to take me out? No, it's not. Beautiful. But it is going to confuse. Confusing isn't great. Never mind. I've got one, Barry. This is... This is a really cool Pokemon, huh? Wonderful. So, I can go for an extreme speed on... This. They're going to have to swap something out, right? 
I can save a little bit of HP if they choose to keep the Pelipper in. I think it's fine because if they if they swap out the Pelipper uh, into Palafin here, then yes, I miss a I miss a Sucker Punch, but no, this is this is perfect. Yeah, because they're gonna swap into Palafin here. And Palafin's going to take extreme speed damage. That's good damage for the Palafin to take. And the Sucker Punch is gonna go off. This is just perfect all around. Oh, good, good, good. So now the next time I swap in my Torkoal, this Palafin is going to be nerfed, like mega nerfed, mega nerfed. Now it can go for a, I think what I'm going to do, yeah, I'm just going to go for an extreme speed and a sucker punch on the Palafin. I'm not really trying to care what the, uh, what the iron bundle goes for here. Because it just swapped back in, it can go for another Protect, and that's kind of what I'm expecting it to do. Yeah, there it goes. There it goes. Now, if it goes for a Jet Punch, then obviously I won't... Yeah. Okay, so Sucker Punch won't, won't happen, but that's okay. They chose to attack the King Gamut anyway. Okay. Opposing team's tailwind is going to peter. That's fun for me. Uh, I can go for a sucker punch here. No, I could go for a... No, yeah, I'll go for a sucker punch. If that was a Kotal Cleave, I would have just won the game. But it's, such, you know, life's, life's fine. It went for a protect there. We're, we're sitting pretty. Extreme speed's going to miss. Sucker punch is going to hit, though. Bye-bye, Iron Bundle. Iron by Bundle. Okay, so this felt <laughs> this felt better. This game felt a lot better. We're gonna go for a Terra Blast, I guess. Now let's go for another extreme speed. Why why do that? I'm going to go ahead and swap here. Just in case. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. <sighs> Great. <laughs> that felt a lot better. That felt a lot better. I am more than content ending it on that note. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Let's go into the lab. Let's talk about this team a little bit and let's get you out for the day. All right, come on. And here's the team by Nails OU. If you go to Nails OU on Twitter, you can see the actual team report for uh, for this team from Knoxville Regionals that ended up in top four. Uh, looks like him and Addy Sub uh, Supermanian uh, went and put together a team report for this. Really cool video. Go and check it out. Um, this team consists of King Gambit, Torkoal, Fluttermane, Dragonite, Great Tusk, and Lilligant. And it does work. It's got all of the things that you really want a team to do. It's got weather control. It doesn't have a ton of speed control, but it does have the extreme speed. It has the Lilligant with Chlorophyll. So you can really fast put things to sleep that you don't want to uh, be controlling all over you. Now, uh, let's go over these Pokemon one by one. We've got the King Gambit, which is just the King Gambit set that y'all know and love. Uh, it's got Terra Fire with Terra Blast. So if you have uh, enemy steel type Pokemon that you need to take care of, uh, enemy grass type Pokemon that you need to take care of, there is the Terra Blast for that. And plus it's just a typing that you wouldn't really expect a King Gambit to go, uh, to go for, you know? So it's pretty good. Uh, Torkoal with Terra Fire, Terra, Erup uh, Terra Fire Eruption just does a bajillion damage. It's a great Torkoal set. It's been used for months and months now. Uh, Eruption, Flamethrower, Earth Power, and Protect. Earth Power does really good damage against other Torkoals, which often is uh, is the case. Um, you've got Dragonite with Terra Flying. It's my new favorite Dragonite set with Multi-Scale and Lumberry. Dragonite has been such an interesting Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet so far. Uh, just the way it's bounced back and forth between inner focus and multi-scale, uh, people now are finding that, you know, cutting your initial hit in half actually does like, actually does way more work than uh, just the inability to, to flinch um, and things like that. 
But yeah, with the Lemberry, you're making sure that you're not uh, getting confused, not going to sleep, uh, all that good stuff. And Terra Blast at doing two times flying damage is really key. Because of course, remember that your Dragonite is part flying. So if you Terra flying, all of your flying type damages are uh, times two and Terra Blast is one of them. Fluttermane, just a bajillion damage on Fluttermane. Just as much damage as humanly possible on the Fluttermane. Protosynthesis ups your special attack. Choice Specs ups your special attack. Terra Fairy ups your special, uh, uh, ups your fairy type moves from Moonblast and Dazzling Gleam. Like, often you will be doing a, like too much damage with this. And be warned, be warned when Series 3, when Regulation C comes out and you're able to put a Chi Yu beside this thing and cut special uh, defenses or is it up special attack? I can't remember one of the two. It's been a while uh, from all the Pokemon on the field. This thing is going to do way too much damage. OK, so just keep that in mind. Great Tusk with Protosynthesis and Choice Scarf. It makes your uh, Great Tusks faster than other Great Tusks while also still upping your attack. So your Headlong Rushes do a bunch. Your Earthquakes do a bunch. Close Combats do a bunch. Your Rock Slides, uh, they all do like a lot of damage. I, I don't want to keep saying, saying a billion, a bajillion damage, but it's a bajillion damage. I'm going to call a spade a spade here. And then Lilligant with Sleep Powder, Leaf, Spo uh, Leaf Storm after you and Protect. With the Terra Ghost, it actually comes into play more often than one would think. You know, because if you have uh, a Focus Sash on your Lilligant and you're facing, say, an enemy Dragonite, right? They take you down to Focus Sash and the next turn, what are they going to do? They're going to extreme speed you. So you have your Terra Ghost there to make sure you're not taking that damage. Uh, so you can hit your opponent with a Sleep Powder, make sure that it goes to sleep or that you can go for an after you and make your Torkoal go for mega big eruptions. There, there are lots of options with this team. Anyway, so make sure you go and use it. Go and check out the team report. Uh, from Adi and Nails, they uh, they put a lot of work into this and it did really well. And I'm sure it'll do really well for you too, especially that it's the beginning of a new season, a new, yeah, a new season, not a new series. Uh, beginning of a new season gives you the time to just shoot up to master rank uh, so that you can play around with the, with the big friends. I don't know. Anyway, I've been Mike, I play with two Pokemon on the field. I'll see you next time.